Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. Today's video is gonna be a tutorial on this wig sent to me from Ash and Mary Hair. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes, and the direct links down below in the description box. The wig that I was sent is a 24 inch, 250% density, body wave, lace front wig. The hair color is light pink. The cap construction features four combs and an adjustable strap. The hairline is pre-plucked for us and it does come with about four inches of parting space. The hair color is so beautiful in person. I want to call this color flamingo pink because that is the closest shade of pink that I could think of when I look at this hair color. And even as beautiful as this hair color is, it is so, so tricky to translate the natural color that you see in person over to the camera. As you are looking at this hair color right now, you see it looking like white in certain areas you see it looking like um highlights in other areas but it's actually all one beautiful pink color i did use two different cameras just to try to change the settings of both to try to get the color to translate as i see it in person you know to make it look the same way on camera but i had such a difficult time doing that so i hope you guys can see the beautiful pink tones that this wig has so the first thing that I'm going to do is thin out the hairline a little bit more. I'm going to do the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting. This step is always optional. The hairline did already come pre-plucked, but if you do take the extra steps to pluck a little bit more from the hairline, I think you will be completely happy with the results. Here is the amount of hairs that I did pluck away from the hairline. It's hard to really see the hairline because of this hair color, but it does look super natural in person, super cute. So now that I am happy with the way that the hairline is looking, it is now time for me to tint the lace. I'm grabbing two different colors of lace tint. The first color is the color of my foundation and I'll be spraying that along the hairline of this lace frontal. The second color is the color of my scalp and I'll be spraying that on the inner portion of this lace frontal. I should have stopped at one layer of lace tint, but I ended up doing two layers of lace tint because that's normally what I do. And I found that with the original color of the lace, when I did spray that double layer of lace tint in the one that's the color of my foundation, it did show up too dark. That does happen sometimes though, depending on the color of the lace before you put lace tint on it. So in this case, if I would have only done one layer of my foundation color, it would have come out looking a lot better. But you probably cannot tell because after the lace did set, it was a perfect melt. All right, so here are our beautiful waves. I am gonna cut some face framing layers into this wig. I'm not making the layers too short because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do like a half up, half down hairstyle with this wig. I wasn't sure how the wig would have fit my head. So I didn't want it to be too short in the front because if I did do a half, down, a half up, half down hairstyle, I wanted to have like two bangs in the front. So anywho, I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut some layers in the hair. It is now time to style and to style this hair, I'll be grabbing my Chi Spin and Curl as well as a pressing comb and my BioSilk Silk Infusion Hair Serum. I'm adding the Silk Infusion Hair Serum to the hair and then in small sections, I'm just gonna grab my Chi Spin and Curl and begin to curl the hair.
So now I'm just going to smooth everything into place by grabbing my Cara Cares hair wax stick, applying that to the edges of the wig as well as the parting space. And then I'm going to use my pressing combs and go over those hairs just to make sure that everything is very sleek and polished. These curls are gorgeous. The hair is very soft and it does move really, really good. Now that we're finished styling the hair, it is now time to cut away that extra lace so that we can install it. I'm grabbing a pair of pinking shears and carefully cutting along the hairline following the natural curvature of this wig. So to prep my skin, I'm grabbing alcohol and cleaning off my forehead. Then I'll be grabbing scalp protector and applying that to my scalp grabbing the wig and turning it to the side so that I can have a clear view of the edge of the lace. I'm grabbing even New York's Wonder Lace Bond. I'm gonna spray a thin layer of that to the very edge of the lace. Then I'm gonna blow dry for a few seconds until it is tacky. Grabbing the wig, I'm just gonna stretch it over my head in its proper placement, making sure that all of the combs are lined up and that the parting space is centered in the middle. I'm gonna put my headscarf on and allow it to set for about 15 to 20 minutes. 20 minutes later, I did notice that the hairline is not a good match for my hairline and my hair is black. And because of that, I have to have baby hairs on this wig just to get rid of the um, dark edges from showing. So I did end up doing some baby hairs off camera and here are the results from allowing that to set. Here is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes and direct link to this wig, I'ma call her Flamingo Pink, <laughs> it's a Miss Flamingo Pink down below in the description box. All of the information from Ash Mary Hair will be down there for you guys to click on and check out. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below so that I know you stopped by and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Right. I, I.